Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, June 30th, around 9.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano is not erupting yet, despite 30 earthquakes per hour. The alert level has been raised. We have multiple other things to talk about, including, but not limited to, the strongest hurricane ever. In June, a Cat 4 hurricane named Beryl has become the first Cat 4 in Atlantic hurricane history. Not only is it the strongest hurricane ever in June, it is the furthest easterly forming hurricane ever. So a lot is going on here. Could be that superstorm we saw from our sun supercharging the weather as well as Hunga Tonga. Buckle up. We've got a lot to discuss. Keep calm. It's boom time. The Caribbean is bracing as Hurricane Beryl strengthens, and strengthen it is in ways that have never been seen. We have never seen such a strong hurricane this early in the season. Beryl becomes extremely dangerous Cat 4 hurricane expected to bring life-threatening conditions to the Caribbean. Hurricane warnings have been issued for Barbados, San Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Grenada, Tobago, and many other places. Let's break it all down. The maximum sustained winds exceeded 130 miles per hour earlier today, bringing it up to Cat 4 in the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale, which is catastrophic. Everything above Cat 4 is catastrophic, so that is the level we are at. The current update as of 8 p.m. Sunday, June 30th, maximum sustained winds still at 130 miles per hour, making it Cat 4 as it moves to the west. Now, the spaghetti models are keeping it tight for at least three days, and then they start to split apart. So in three days, we're going to have good idea where this baby is headed. If it takes one of the northerly routes, or, uh, such as the red, green, or blue, we could be seeing a very devastating Cat 4 or 5 storm reach the Gulf Coast of the United States. So stay tuned for updates in the coming days, as this could be a big one. Meanwhile, flash flooding emergency in Rui Doso after those major fires. Take a look at this devastation. That is a semi truck being pushed by water. And this is literally flowing down a road in Rui Doso, New Mexico. So not only did the homes burn and people died, now we have catastrophic flooding flowing right down I-70, I believe. Yes, Highway 70 towards Ruidoso Downs. You can check out all the updates all day at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave on X. Baseball size hail causes extensive damage to Kozad and Gothenburg. And damage was extensive indeed. Take a look at the windshields here. The people of Kozad and Gothenburg, this is in North Platte, Nebraska, are dealing with the cleanup after a severe hailstorm hail Saturday morning. According to Dawson County Emergency Management Director Brian Wolt, the storm began 2 a.m. and lasted for 30 minutes. During that time, baseball size hail and wind caused da extensive damage to Kozad with lesser damage in Gothenburg. We do have some video of that. Let's take a look. It is quite loud. That is some pretty intense stuff there, and you can clearly see the subsequent damage. Now, remember, to buy a helmet, it's only going to get worse. Here's the full forecast. The reason the video is up so late tonight is that we had it completely finished, and the power went out right before we ended the show, and we lost the entire recording. So, my apologies. These things happen, and we just got to redo the whole set. 
Severe thunderstorms in the east this evening. Excessive heat lingers in the southern U.S. Scattered to numerous damaging wind gusts and isolated flash flooding is likely from severe thunderstorms across parts of the northeast and mid-Atlantic states into this evening. Well, what about out here? Large hail and damaging winds could also occur from southern Montana into western North Dakota and even in Colorado because I just experienced it. Excessive heat will continue over the southern U.S. today before another round of heat arrives over the central U.S. Monday. You can see we've got flood warnings out for the Four Corners. The ground is saturated. We've had about three inches of rain in the last week, and we're supposed to get another inch overnight. All of this is amazing for the desert and the reason we moved here. Let's take a quick look at the GFS. Everything has been reset because we got <laughs> taken down. By the power outage. Now you can see here there's still some severe weather lingering on the east coast. Let's move this through three hours. That will continue and drop down into the Virginias as well as the Carolinas and that will move offshore within six hours. By morning it should be clear in the east. Tomorrow we could see some severe weather threats moving through the central plains here. Nebraska, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin. Say it ain't soda. Yeah, Minnesota, you too. So severe weather will linger in the high plains for the next few days. Australia's weather heading off the rails, cold and snowy change, followed by pe possible record blocking high. Yeah, buckle up, Buttercup, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, winter is coming in strong. Chilly days and icy nights are ahead. So, light that fire. Now, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano is not erupting yet, despite 30 earthquakes per hour. USGS scientists with the Hawaii Volcano Observatory say Kilauea's upper east rift zone began experiencing a seismic swarm on the afternoon of June 27th with hundreds of earthquakes. Increasing seismic activity is one of the tells of an impending volcanic eruption, but it's still hard to predict when exactly that will happen. Let's take a quick look over here at worldwide earthquakes and let's just blow it up here on Kilauea. You can see those <coughs> quakes continue. Uh, we can do a little overlay here, show you the terrain. There is Kilauea and we can also change <coughs> the amount of quakes they're showing. We'll show one day all magnitude. That's just today. That's got to be over 100 quakes. Something is afoot at Kilauea. And we'll keep a close eye on it for you. Clearly, it means an eruption is coming soon. An eruption is imminent in Hawaii. Overall, no, not many quakes of note. We've got a 5.0 in Iran. Some increased activity on the West Coast. Minor at best. And we could be seeing some earthquakes, large earthquakes, as this hurricane moves through the tropics, especially when it crosses this major fault near the Caymans. And, well, we could be seeing earthquakes anywhere along the way as it moves along its path. So, stay tuned for more updates. An interesting phenomenon. Worldwide volcano news for the day. Popo puffing to 19. Semaru, 15. Who knew? Now you do. Sabancaya to 22,000 feet. Nevado de Ruiz, 21,000 foot puff. Aoba back on the list, 8,000 foot puff. Ibu to 15. Sabancaya to 23. Popo, little puff. Observe. Semaru, who knew? Now you do. Liwatobi on the list to 10,000 foot today. We've got Fuego to 16. Ibu to 15,000 feet. And here, the seismic swarm has been occurring in the Upper East Rift Zone of Kilauea since the 27th of June, intensifying late the evening of the 29th, and something is about to happen. The alert level has been raised as a new seismic swarm occurs in the Upper East Rift Zone. Semaru today also puffing Ibu to 15,000 feet. Aoba puffing as well, and that is going to wrap it up with Raventador and Sabankai to 23, Raventador to 14, wrapping up the list. Quick move over to space weather. Uh, we've got some sunspots on the disk, very little activity for days. No imminent geomagnetic storms, but July 3rd could get a little spicy thanks to this plasma filament here, which erupted on June 29th and is now modeled to hit Earth potentially on July 3rd, but quite a whimper indeed. 
very little effect, if any, and there's, they're forecasting KP4. That is all. That's all I can see in the forecast. So a quiet sun at solar max. China's space pioneer blames massive rocket test crash on structural failure. We do have footage of this, so stay tuned. We're about to pull it up. Here we have it, the Chinese Tinalong 3 rocket accidentally launches during an engine test. I'm sure the people that were down in the bay testing the engine didn't burn up or anything. Whoopsie! Prepare for the boom. Incoming. Now, there's a lot of fuel on that baby. <laughs> Oh, there it is! Holy macaroni! How do you Yeah, apparently that was a big accident. Take a look at how close it was from a populated region. The rocket crashed in the hills outside of Gonggi in Henan province on Sunday afternoon to the delight of all the people celebrating Independence Day. No, not really. But please come over to Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Support our work we do there. Let's get this to 11,000, please. Pretty please. Because we post cool stuff there, like this. Roman tidal baths on Malta. Uh, what happens is the high tide comes in. They clean out the water so people can bathe in these baths. And the water gets refreshed twice a day. The unique thing is that these are still exactly at sea level after thousands of years. But catastrophic sea level is about to kill us all. <laughs> Fascinating story in paleontology coming out. The most pristine trilobite fossils ever found shake up the scientific understanding of the long extinct group. They went extinct about 250 million years ago, but was one of the longest lived animals on Earth. It appears to be more similar to a sand flea or a horseshoe crab than anything that they have claimed it was. Take a look at this 3D imaging. It will blow your mind. These, the preservation was so complete, they were able to make 3D reconstructions in high resolution like never been seen before from an animal that has been missing on Earth for over 250 million years. It's astounding. The technology is becoming so advanced, so rapidly, I, I just can't imagine where we'll be in five years from now. Can you? Absolutely amazing. 20 years ago, we didn't even have video on a computer. Just CGI. We've come a long way, and it's only going to get more weird the further we get along. I hope you're preparing for the inevitable. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video. Click on the links below in the description box. Support Jace Case. Get the cheapest seeds on earth. Help the channel. The best way to help the channel is to share this video. It's free. And because we're shadow banned, YouTube certainly isn't going to do that. We love each and every one of you. Be safe and we'll see you soon. And that's a boom. Nee, 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 nee.